Today, I'm going to be ditching the roads of Los Santos and heading out in the open waters of GTA Online to see how fast I can drive a tugboat around the entire map. Now before we jump into this video, make sure you're subscribed and also give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments how long you think this is going to take. Now with all that being said, let's head to the dock. Now that we're all set up and ready to go, I'm going to take you guys back to one of my old videos real quick. Now, in one of my old videos, I actually drove a bicycle from the docks all the way up to Polito Bay, and that took me right around 15 minutes-ish. Now, we're not dealing with traffic or cops or pedestrians or anything like that in this video, but we are dealing with the waves, the ocean, and also a massive tugboat. Now, if any of you guys actually ever drove the tugboat in GTA Online, you'd know it's a very annoying vehicle to drive, very hard to steer, and it's not fast at all. It has a top speed of like maybe 10 miles an hour, and that's being very generous. So this is definitely going to take a lot of time, but stay tuned to the end to find out exactly how long this will take. Honestly, if you have nothing to do in GTA, I highly recommend doing something like this. I mean, as, as annoying as as the tugboat might be, for example, you don't have to pick the tugboat. Pick like a speedboat or a jet ski or something. But just go on the water in GTA and just enjoy it. Because it's, it's such a different, it's such a change of pace from what we usually do in GTA. I honestly heavily recommend all of you guys to do this. Like, especially if you have nothing to do in Grand Theft Auto. Like, just go in the water. Go go sailing or something. Like, this is actually, I'm not going to lie, as, as annoying as it is doing this with the tugboat... I actually feel like if you had a speedboat of some kind, it would actually be decently fun to do this. So we finally reached Polito Bay, and I gotta admit, I gotta give credit where credit is due. I didn't think the tugboat was gonna be as good as it is, and I'm not saying it's good, but it's actually, it's performing a lot better than I thought it would, to be fully honest with you. But now I have to do the same thing again, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, we have finally made it back. It was definitely a decently long journey, but I mean, hey, now we know how long it actually takes to drive a tugboat around the entire GTA Online map. 
And like I said before, if you have nothing else to do, you might as well come do something like this. Because it's a change of pace, it's, it's doing something different, and it's keeping the game fresh. But I heavily suggest not using the tugboat, especially for I think the tugboat's 1.2 million around there. I definitely do not su suggest the tugboat. It's very slow, very annoying, and it's really not a good boat at all. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, like I said, subscribe, leave a like, and let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see. I'm always open to video suggestions. I love hearing back from you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you liked it, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.